Hey everyone, um, this is just a quick video to show you the correct way to streak a plate with a spore syringe. Um, the idea is that you're going to spread out the liquid um, while well, spread out your spores, but you also want to separate the spores from any contamination. Now, if you were to just spray a bunch of liquid onto the agar plate, it's going to be mixed up. You're going to get spores germinating right next to bacteria and you will never be able to separate them. Um, so the idea is with streaking is that you, uh, the process basically dilutes the solution on the agar plate or separates out the spores. It gradually it builds up more and more space from the spore and the bacteria and it just makes hot life easier. Um, and allows you to make a transfer of clean mycelium. So starting off, I'm doing this one-handed, so forgive me. And also, you would normally do this in aseptic technique. Uh, I don't have gloves and I do not have a mask on. And I do not have it inside a still air box or in front of a flow hood. Um, you would want to be using all or one of those things. Um, so pop a drop, pop a drop in the corner of your solution there it goes then you take your loop inoculation loop which again would be sterile this is my homemade one and you streak across the top that's your first um streak and then you streak again to an angle like this and then you streak again and you can streak again and you kind of formed a Pentagon, pentagon, hexagon, whatever. Um, the idea is, is that up here you'll have a clump of spores and a big clump of bacteria as well, probably, and whatever else, mold. Uh, and then as you drag out, it just takes a little bit with it and thins everything out. And then the third time, you know, it thins it out even further. And the fourth time, you know, I'd be surprised if you even get any growth up here. Usually get your isolated growth here so you'll have like dots of mycelium growing you also have dots of bacteria um, up here it'd be a complete mess you won't be able to separate anything but down here uh, this is where you get your samples from and then you can get your scalpel cut a little sample when after it's grown for a little while cut a little sample fish it out pop it into a new agar plate and bob's your uncle um, you have a much cleaner mycelium sample and away you go. I uh, hope that helps, and that is pretty much the reason why you streak. Um, you, I mean, you can streak. Again, you can streak just to to if you had a very clean spore solution and you weren't really worried about bacteria. Maybe you could put a little drop at the top, um, and you just wanted to separate the spores. Then you could just wipe it like this and drag it all through. Um, but if that was contaminated with uh, any kind of bacteria or mold, it would be very hard to tell the difference. Um, the correct way, in the way I was taught at university, is to do it like this. Take it down the edges, take it down the side, push it up there, and it, you know, it gradually thins out the solution. But yeah, all right, take it easy, thank you.